Good stuff. Uh huh. <laughs> gotta tell you, man, we're not live yet, so we can talk. Gotta tell you, man, that I uh, got this new coffee called, um, what's it called again? Oh, uh, yeah, it's called, uh, let, me, let me get over here. I don't want to mess up with anything. Uh, this coffee here, we're not live, so we can talk. Uh, this coffee here is uh, coconut and caramel. Um, I went to HB a couple of weeks ago, and you guys, they got those sample people that give you samples of this and sample of that. Uh, there was this really, really knockout girl, man, giving out samples. And I go, um, are you giving out samples? She goes, yes, sir. I said, well, my, my address is here, and I definitely want to sample you. <laughs> you probably go, that's not funny, Robert. And, uh, well, and she goes, no, you can't sample me, but you can sample the copy. And she was uh, sampling, giving out samples of uh, coconut and caramel uh, uh, coffee. And I tasted it, and I said, this is pretty good. Are you sure you don't sample it yourself? Did you hear that? And I said, are you sure you don't sample yourself? And they said, no. And she said, no, no only the coffee. And I go, all right. Ah, good stuff. Um, Let me see here. <laughs> I got thrown for a loop. I'm going to explain everything to you here in a minute why I got thrown for a loop right now. I heard something on my headset that really, really... uh. <laughs> Let's go live. There we go. No wonder that's on. I don't want that. Let's go. Let's go over here. Let's go live. There we go. Eddie G. Eddie Gonzalez. Get busy. See that. Let me go right here. I'm going to explain to you exactly everything that I'm doing. You're seeing me do things in front of the camera that I've never done before. <laughs> Anyways, let me go right over here. We'll go right over there. That's good. There we are. Good morning, Double R Radio, Tuesday morning, uh, October the 12th, 2021. It's, um, you know, uh, this is a history-making event in uh, one way or two ways or history-making event today and another history-making event on Double R Radio tomorrow. First things first, before we talk about this and talk about that and all the craziness, whatever, um... This radio show has been up and running eight years, if I got it right. Could be nine, could be ten, I don't know. We'll go with eight. Sounds like a good number to me. Well, anyways, in eight years, I've been doing the morning show from Tuesday. It, it first started Monday through Friday. Then I had to shorten it after about three years because man, it was really taking its toll on me. So I shortened it to Tuesday through Friday. We're all good right there. There we go. Now, that being said, um... Doing what I do in my job, because uh, I do have a regular job. My mom used to say, "Mijo, Mijo, you got to get a regular job, Mijo. You got to get a regular job, Mijo." Love you, mom, with all my heart, and I miss you. Anyways, as the um, well, my regular job calls that I need to start a little bit early. It's not because they're telling me to. It's because I want to. I need to. So I'm gonna be starting my mornings a little bit earlier. Do, going out there doing the Uber thing, then coming back here and starting the morning show at 9.30 and going all the way to 12. So, look, and mark that down, but if I would. Starting tomorrow morning, the morning show will now start at 9.30 in the morning, and we're going to do it all the way to 12 noon, okay? So, look, uh, mark that one down so I don't want nobody calling me or Robert. Where in the hell are you, Robert? And stuff like that. So, I'm giving you a heads up. I put flyers already on Facebook. I put it on my website. So, look, uh, there you go. The morning show will now be starting at 9.30 in the morning all the way to 12 noon. So, look, a history is being made this morning because this is the last morning show that I will be doing starting at 7 o'clock. Now, you're probably wondering, Robert, what about your Cruising Classic show? Cruising Classic show is not going anywhere. It's rock solid. The listeners are right there. And uh, so the, the, the Cruising Classic show is not going anywhere, okay? There we go. So, look, I mark that down, put forward. My coffee is awesome, man. It's, it's good. Coconut caramel. It's delicious. You're probably going, Mira que chiflado, cabrón. Que coconut, que caramel. Right? <laughs> At first, when the girl told me, I told her, what, what kind of coffee is it? She goes, it's coconut and caramel. And I said, coconut and hormel? Hormel chili? She goes, no, not hormel. Caramel. Not hormel. I said, oh, I thought it was... It was a, a coffee that was with coconut and, and hormel chili inside the coffee. No, no, she goes, caramel, not hormel. I said, all right, so, and I really like it a lot. So, and there we go. I got to make some notes here because, you know, I will forget. Now, um, Saturday night, 
Um, I want to be, give a big shout out to my sponsors, Chav and Michelle Baltasar, who came over and joined me Saturday evening for some drinks and dinner and, you know, all that good stuff, man, all that socializing thing and music and all this other stuff. And uh, really, man, I want to thank them so very much for coming on over to Mikasa Saturday evening and uh, enjoying a nice evening of drinks and dinner and laughter and a whole lot of laughter. I decided to make a brisket and all the trimmings y todo el guato and had a great time around. Really, really did. Now, speaking of Saturday night, um, decided to watch the pay-per-view boxing. Did y'all see that boxing Saturday night between uh, Fury and Wilder? You know, that is going down as one of the greatest boxing matches ever. And I don't know about that, but I just know it was one hell of a fight, and I'm glad I didn't pay for it. I'm serious, man. I mean, they threw chingazos and more chingazos and more chingazos. One guy would get knocked down, then the other guy would get knocked down. Then they both went got knocked down. It was awesome. It really, really is, man. What should I say? It really, really was. And I was like, man, I felt guilty that I didn't pay for it. Man, I said, I should have paid for this. At least a dollar. <laughs> right? But it was an awesome boxing match. And watching it illegally, I, I felt a little guilty. I said, man, you know, you know I think I'm going to call up uh, this production company and say, hey, man, I'm, I apologize. I watched this illegally. Here's a dollar. <laughs> Here's two dollars. There you go. And uh, there you have it. But really, man, that boxing match was unreal. It really, really was. Now, um... Let me get some coffee here. I need some energy. And speaking of doing things illegally, I got to tell y'all. Let me see here. Let me go ahead and cut this. We'll turn that off there. There we go. Speaking of doing things illegally, let me tell you what's going on here. Good morning, Jada Ganata. Patty Zapeda, who says, good morning, Roberto. Good morning, Charlie Puente. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Double R Radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas. Good morning, amiga. Also, good morning, Jada Ganata. Double R Radio sponsor, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas. Also, good morning, Jada Ganata. Mercy Silva. Good morning, amiga. Now, that being said, speaking of illegal... Um, like I said, my buddy Chav and his wife came over to me casa Saturday and, um, uh, um, we were talking about boss gags, man. We all love boss gags music, right? Well, he goes, man, Robert, there's a band that I've never seen. I would love to see is boss gags. And I go, dude, I've seen them two or three times. I told him I got the DVD, man, boss gags in concert. So what I decided to do for him, I decided to, uh, make a copy an illegal copy. <laughs> You're probably going, man, Robert, you like doing a lot of things illegally. Um, it makes things more fun. Anyways, <laughs> I don't take it to the next level, but things like this. Eh. So I made a, I made him a copy of the Boss Gags live in concert, an illegal copy, a bootleg copy, if you want to call it that. So I'm going to have to mail it to him. i got to get his mailing address. He lives here in town, but he lives way in the hell over there, and I live way in the hell over here. So, uh, so Chad, if you're listening, por favor, text me your... Uh, your um is the uh, mailing address so i can mail you this boss gags in concert okay anyways now that being said um how disappointed i was yesterday mind you i don't have any car i get my car back today had to leave it at the shop for to have brakes put on so i said well okay i'm not gonna work monday can't work don't have my car can't do it so and the houston astros were playing at 2 30 in the afternoon perfect i'm not working anyways right then it gets rained out. <laughs> Man. So uh, game uh, game four will be played today at 105 in the afternoon. I'll probably be working by then, but oh well. As long as they win, that's all that matters. And I am wearing my Houston Astro colors right there. There we go. So look, uh, anyway, the Astros and the White Sox game four today at 105 p.m. That's I don't know why they put them at 105 in the afternoon. What's their problem? So anyways, there we go. And how about them Dallas Cowboys? You know, those Cowboys, man, they're looking really, really, really good. They really, really are. I'm starting to enjoy the games again. I am. And even more so, Dak Prescott is making a believer out of me. I would criticize him all the time. Not anymore. I'm leaving you alone, Dak. You're okay. Uh -huh. I'm leaving you alone. You, uh, you've you impressed me enough. I'm not going to talk about you no more. Uh -uh. Um, also, um, let me see here. I don't, where do I want to go? Uh, let's go here. Um, like I said, I didn't have a car, so uh, I got plenty of food, but I got, uh, call it bean chiflado, 
I decided to order Uber Eats yesterday, and um, I ordered um, uh, a double quarter pounder with cheese, order of fries, tall soda, and it cost me sixteen dollars. <laughs> it cost me sixteen dollars with tip. Man, I could have gotten two orders, but hey, man, that's part of the deal. That's the way it is. You know, if, if you're going to be Chief Lado, if Chief Lada, you want food delivered to you, you don't have your car, you know, hey, it, it's going to cost you. And it cost me, but I'm okay with it. I really, really am. Um, just in case you don't know where I live, which you probably don't, and you've never seen where I live, I got palm trees that are right by, they're dead palm trees now. There's only one that survived, just know. The other three are dead. They're, they're me, me. <laughs> the palm trees are me, me. They didn't wake up anymore. There's only one that did. Well, anyways, the Uber Eats girl driver, right? I see where she shows up. You can see it on the app. She pulls into the complex, right? And she calls me, Mr. Rivas, I have your order. I can't find you. Uh, well, I'm in building so-and-so. I can't find it. Well, I, I'm in building so-and-so, but I can't find it. I said, well, I'll tell you what. Look up in the sky. Look for palm trees. I live right across from the palm trees. I don't see them. Um, they're about 20 feet tall. Uh, you should be able to see the palm trees. I don't see them. And I'm thinking, oh, man, I'm going to have to go out to the front because while we're talking, my food's getting cold. So I said, just look for the palm trees. I don't see them. Man. So I start going down my stairs, right? And I see her turning a corner. There's my Uber Eats girl. Get your ass over here, governor. Yeah, good governor. So she goes, there's your order. And uh, thanks. And she has like her hand out, like for me to tip her. She said, I already tipped you on the app. You're taken care of. And I know how to tip. I'll take care of you. Thank you. And she walks off. And I said, she better not have messed with my french fries. I love McDonald's french fries. But on Uber Eats, at least on the McDonald's site, what they do with the bag, Um, I kept on hearing quack, quack. Quack, quack. And I said, what the hell am I hearing in my bag? It was quack, 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 quack. And I said, why is it, what the hell is inside my bag? But I said, oh, I know what it is. When they take my bag, they use duct tape. <laughs> no, that wasn't funny, right? Uh, I got you. Okay, not funny. I got you. Move on, Robert. Okay, let's move on. Uh -huh, let's move on. You know, um, I have a neighbor. Hopefully she's not listening to the morning show. I have a neighbor that I saw her with all these bags at the bottom of my stair stairwell over here. And um, I told her, are you moving? I thought she was moving. She goes, no, I'm moving in. I told her, I thought you were already moving. Uh, you, you already live there, don't you? She goes, no, I used to, but I moved across to the apartment, comp to the apartment right across where the palm trees are. I moved over there for two days and we figured out we don't like each other. So I'm moving back. <laughs> and I said, it took you two days to figure out you don't like each other? Yeah, we don't like each other. I said, well, okay. So I'm going to move back. And she had all these bags and everything. That she, I said, man, I feel bad for her. And you're probably going, Robert, did you help her? I didn't feel that bad. And I said, well, good luck. You know, moving to me is a nightmare. That's how come I don't move. Because when you're going to move, you find out who your friends are. You start calling people, hey, man, I'm going to be moving. Can you help me? People disappear. They do. So, look, it's always best, man, if you're going to move, get your ducks in a row, man. Find out who's your friends, who's not going to help you, because that is a tough scenario. It really, really is. Let's see here. Good morning, Jada Ganata. Marianne Huerta says, good morning, Double R. Good morning, Marianne. Also, good morning, Jada Ganata. Double R Radio Puncher, Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California, which by now Deborah's going, well, okay, Robert, let's see here. If you're going to start at 9.30 in the morning, San Antonio time, that means that here in California, it'll be 7.30. Perfect. <laughs> right? Perfect, Robert. So there you go. Hey, man, it's going to work for everybody. I promise you. It really, really will. How much time do I have? I got to talk a little. Now, I've got one more thing to talk about here, and I don't need this anymore. My notes, I do not need anymore. There we go. This past weekend, I stumbled across a show. If you're old school, you'll know what I'm talking about. Do y'all remember the show, Hee Haw? You remember that show, Hee Haw, Buck Owens, and uh, what was it, Dale Evans, and Roy Rogers, and... Tonto and, and Matt Dillon? Who was it? Anyways, on Hee Haw, 
I said, man, but let me tell you what, what really got my attention was there was a show that said George Strait. And I go, man, George Strait on Eagle? I never really realized that. Well, after George Strait sang, they show all these little skits with all these girls, and all these girls are slutted out. And I'm not lying either, man. Little shorts, little blouses. I mean, a lot of them. I mean, they're all slutted out. I mean... I don't know about hee-haw, but I'll call it hee-hole, because, man, those girls, man, they know how to go for ratings. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder they lasted a long time. Well, anyways, I'm going to start watching hee-hole uh, probably each and every morning, man, because I got to tell you, man, the, the, the surroundings of, you know, they put these girls, man, in these little short shorts and halters, and I'm telling you, man, all I'm going to say is hee Good morning. How we doing, everybody? Tuesday morning it is. Do not forget, morning show, new hours, starts tomorrow morning, October the 13th. Tomorrow morning, new morning show hours from 9.30 all the way to 12 noon. That all starts tomorrow morning. Uh, the videos, the YouTubes and all that, everything will stay the same. Cruising Classics, it's all going to stay the same. Am I going to be the same? I'll be the same as well. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Let me get over here. Click a button. And adios button number two.